Big non-conference losses aside, it's now focus and go after the Big 12. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You won't be disappointed. We bring you the best analysis of college football discussion and debate that you're going to find anywhere online. And the focus right now is on TCU at Texas in Austin Saturday night. All right. The Big 12 championship right now, the race seems to be going Oklahoma's way. They seem to be the dominant team and then everybody else fighting for second place. Most notably, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and these two teams. All right, Texas dominated USC in the second half, running away with 34 unanswered points. That was much needed for a team that lost to Maryland on the road and then look very uninspired, lackluster in getting by Tulsa 28-21. It is still a flawed football team. Sam Ellinger is scattershot. He completed 15 of 33 passes against USC. And that's pretty much what he is. He's a runner and a thrower that's going to miss on a lot of throws, but he's going to make big plays. He's going to lead his team. He's going to inspire his team. All right, other negatives right now. The running game is marginal, but at least it's not awful like it was most of 2017. And the defense, though talented and explosive, is very young. All right, the pass game against USC in the second half hit on some big plays downfield with Colin Johnson and a little Jordan Humphrey combining for 163 receiving yards and also a big diving touchdown grab out of Joshua Moore in the back of the end zone. On the defensive side for the Longhorns, they were dominant in the second half as well, led by Brandon Jones and Gary Johnson. They racked up 10 and a half tackles for loss against USC. All right. TCU pretty much played the game that we expected against Ohio State. They were explosive on offense. They used their playmakers in space to create mismatches. Their speed, their quickness, too much for the Buckeyes at times. But the offensive line caved in against uh, an elite defensive front, and that pretty much cost TCU the game, along with Ohio State having the deeper roster. All right, what we did know going in against Ohio State is TCU's Reliance on Sean Robinson and his ability to deliver, and he delivered. 308 yards passing, the last touchdown pass, a beautiful bomb down the field, perfectly placed under duress. The two interceptions, don't count them, disregard them. They were thrown in desperation. The second one with the game out of hand, two touchdowns down, Uh, needed to make a play with about a minute left in the game. The one before that, of course, with uh, defenders all over him, he shuttled the ball and it was picked off. All right, TCU's got a big advantage versus Texas in the running game. We talked about the Longhorns' inability to run it consistently. TCU, on the other hand, has Darius Anderson, one of the best in college football. Okay, which team bounces back from an emotional ride last week? For Texas, the big high of scoring 34 straight after playing all that lackluster football the first two and a half games against Maryland, Tulsa, and then in the first half against USC. Are they able to bounce back and get up to that high again? Well, they're going to have the home crowd on their side to lift their spirits. For TCU, the big letdown in the fourth quarter against Ohio State after leading by eight points in the second half. I'll take Coach Gary Patterson, his experience, his ability to psychoanalyze his team and get them ready for this situation in Austin. And also, it's the more consistent quarterback, at least based on what we saw against the Buckeyes, even though Ellinger has the experience over Robinson. It's the more consistent team with a better running game as well. Despite being on the road, I like TCU over Texas 27-24. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, providing previews and predictions throughout the week as we get you set for week four right here join the newsletter send in your email address to mark rogers tv at gmail and we will supply the best newsletter that we can possibly put together each and every week with your help right here at the voice of college football mark rogers tv